Hi there, it's Craig here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, delayed sleep phase syndrome, okay? Now, most people who know me know me as being a, <clears throat> a night person, okay? A night owl. Somebody who goes to bed at the wee hours in the morning, sleeps most of the day, and gets up sometime in the afternoon. And I think most people who know me have accepted that it's just the way I am. But I'm not sure that they understand why it's that way. Um, some people think, well, because I don't work, I don't, I, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so I don't have a nine-to-five job. Um, some people think, well, that's why, because you, you just lay around all day doing nothing, doing nothing you know. Um, if you had a job, then you could get back your on a normal rhythm. That's not true. Okay? There's millions of people <clears throat> in society who have nine to five jobs who suffer from delayed sleep phase syndrome and they're tired every single day of their lives. They're up at two o'clock in the morning, they can't sleep. And once they get to sleep, the damn alarm goes off and they've got to get up and go to work. They work all day, they exhaust themselves, they come home, they can't sleep, they can't get to bed until two o'clock in the morning once again. It's the same thing every single day, and people suffer from this for most of their lives. I, I for one, have been a, a victim of this for most of my life. Ever since I was in high school, which is 25, 27 years ago, <clears throat> I have been a victim of this delayed sleep phase syndrome. Didn't know what it was, but I'd be up at 2 o'clock in the morning playing my guitar, or recording a song, or doing something, and then had to wake up at 8, 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning <coughs> to go to school and was tired all day, couldn't function, couldn't perform, couldn't do my work, got poor grades, fell asleep in the English class in the afternoon and came home from school and basically by that time wasn't tired anymore because sometime in the afternoon my body switches to, oh, I want to be awake now. <laughs> you know, so I would spend the rest of the day awake and then I would, you know, I would again, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, be up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, not knowing what to do. And for four years in high school, that's the way it was. I went to college, same thing. Uh, you know, I, I would get up, go to school, and then come home and go back to bed. Anyway, it's not fun. It, it's, it's not an easy thing to fix. Again, going to bed earlier, um, you know, getting up earlier, these things don't work, okay? I've tried staying up the entire day and not going to bed at all, and staying awake for 24 hours or even longer, and then when bedtime rolls around, trying to go to bed, it doesn't work, because I'm not, again, my body says, nope, now's not the time to sleep, you're not tired. So it doesn't work. I've done, I've done, Everything I can, you know, other than going and getting this bright light therapy they talk about, which is when you get up in the morning and you stare at this this bright light for an, an hour. And I haven't done that yet because I can't stand bright light. It's I hate it. In fact, that light over there is pissing me off right now. <laughs> even though I'm not even looking at it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's something that, you know, I want to communicate with other people who have the same issue. I want you guys to put your comments down there, to send video responses, and I want to build a little community around this. Many, many people suffer from it. Um, people l less fortunate than me that have to go to work every day. M my wife works every day very hard, and, and I have, you know, I have income that comes from a support because I'm visually impaired. So, you know, I, ha there's, you know I, can, I can get away without working. Uh, if I had to work, it would be uh, terrible. It would be may way worse than it is. I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I've been this way for many, 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 many years. I've tried to fix it many times. I have managed to fix it many times. And it just goes right back. It just goes right back to normal again, which is basically like the way it is now, where I, I don't know, I, mean, I, I don't even want to tell you what time it is right now. Um, I hear some stirring upstairs, maybe people are just waking up, okay? But it's not, it's not that I'm lazy, it's not that I'm a bum, 
Um, I use my, my time that I am awake to, to be productive. You know, I'm trying to make, I'm, I'm trying to do good things for my family. Um, I'm trying to, to uh, you, know, you know, be productive and get things done during the hours that I'm awake and they're all sleeping. But I mean, if I go outside right now and walk down the street, everybody's asleep. Everybody. It's, it, it's desolate out there. You know, it's, it's quite lonely, actually. Um, you're by yourself most of the time. If you could see through the walls of the houses when you're walking down the street, you would see everybody sleeping. They're all like... Everybody. All in their beds, snoring away, sleeping away. Not me. I'm up. Wide awake. You know? <laughs> so, delayed sleep phase syndrome is not something that's easy to cure. It's not something that's easy to deal with. And it's not something that most people understand. They think you're lazy. They think you're a bum. It's not that at all. I used to, I've been hounded at by many people. Come on, get your ass out of bed. Just start going to bed earlier. You need to get to bed earlier. You need to get, you know... It doesn't work that way. Um, I've seen I've seen my wife, for instance. You know, I've seen her. She she might you know stay up with a friend or something like that late one night. She might get two or three hours sleep and get up the next morning and go to work. And I'm sure she's tired, but she manages to function throughout the day. And when she comes home, she just goes to bed earlier that night and she's asleep. <laughs> Problem solved. This doesn't work that way with people that have this kind of a sleep condition. So, anyway, again, I just wanted to communicate that. I wanted to hopefully communicate or connect with some other people who have the same problem. <coughs> and if you've seen this video, please comment and please, you know, subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got lots of other cool stuff on here. I've got cooking videos, brewing, making beer and wine, making wine out of apple juice. Um, you know, some of these things might actually help you get to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not promoting drinking, but there's times when a glass of wine sometimes, you know, it just does wonders. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and um, we'll see you later. Good night.